Their defense is freaking insane. What do you think keys for game two are for the Celtics? Tatum had a terrible game. <laughs> All I remember is him getting blocked by Porzingis and missing a floater that was wide open. And if you want to sponsor us, just reach out. Uh, we'll have our agent contact you. Haynes underwear. This is we're doing the no the no all no all star teams. Yeah, we're trying to draft the best players that were not all stars. Say this man would have been an MVP. What's up, guys? Welcome to the ET Ball Podcast. Today we're starting off game one of the NBA Finals. It just just happened last night. Just happened. Just yeah. happened. Um, fresh wound. <laughs> fresh wound. Uh, Kyrie, I think, might need to change his pants. Also, yeah, no, it wasn't too good for Kyrie. So, what, what do you want to talk about first? You want to talk about the good or the bad? Um, I, I I say we start off, we talk about the good. Because we didn't really talk about the Celtics last episode. It's true, because someone is in denial that they're good. I didn't say they weren't good. I just said they're not winning the finals. Okay. But I still don't think they're winning the finals. Game one didn't change that. I'm still a believer in Luka Magic. For now. We'll see after game three. And then when it's 3-0. It's not going to be 3-0. Well. You're smoking, bro. No, it's not going to be 3-0. All right, Tinkus Pingus. What about him? When he went off in the first half. <laughs> he went crazy. First quarter, he, he had miss. 11 points. Bro, he was playing like yeah. Durant. No, he he was crazy. And I even you texted me during the game and said something about how you thought he was going to start out slow. Yeah. But he got in his groove right, right away. He? Once once I saw that first little mid range, they somehow Jaden Hardy ended up him on him on like a switch or something. <laughs> like five times. Guarding, guarding him in the post. Um, but like this was like... Why was Jaden Hardy getting first quarter minutes? I don't understand. I, I don't know. But but five minutes in the game, Jaden Hardy guarded him in the post, and he gets a, just a a mid range jumper, like just like wide open. And and since then, yeah, he got he got going off. <laughs> yeah, and then he got four more of them. Right. So I mean, eight for thirteen for twenty points, and in twenty one minutes. Yeah. And once he once he's playing full minutes in the starting lineup, like I don't know, I don't know if he'll keep it up, but yeah, if we, he does, we should point out that like. 16 of those were in the first half. Yeah. And well, did he play? I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I tuned out after the first half. So, well, you missed the comeback, bro. Well, they I, got mean, down I, to like eight. I, I like tuned in for like minutes, I don't know, like seven, eight of the third quarter, but I was playing basketball. So that's more important. <laughs> who else? Who else did their thing? Sam Hauser kind of went off in the first quarter. Going off is kind of crazy. He hit a shot. Play it. Okay. It was, a, it was a pretty nice shot. Okay, he hit multiple I, shots. He had I like three say, threes. He he held his own defensively more than I thought, which I don't know if it was that or if it was just the Mavericks' lack of aggression. But he got a switch on Luca early in the game too, and I mean he he switched on him a few times. But I was expecting Luca to like, okay, well you have Sam Hauser on you. Let's see a Luca post up, like yeah. get to the paint. He's not guarding him, and it just didn't happen. I think he said he he hit a three the first time I saw the switch, but he was he was settling for jump shots on just about anybody other than. Like they yeah. had Drew and JB guarding him. They kind of like let him shoot. I feel like right. And I mean, I guess if that's your game plan, it worked this time. But uh, yeah, well, I, it seems like their game plan was to get him to not pass the ball. Right. At Which, all. I think the whole team didn't pass the ball. I mean, yeah, but he I mean, had that, one assist. They had they had seven total assists before the starters came out. Seven. It was the lowest assist to turnover ratio in a finals game ever. How many turnovers did they have? I don't even know. But I just saw that the ratio <laughs> was ridiculous. Like fourteen. It was, yeah. It was crazy, but I was expecting more from Kyrie coming off of the conference finals that he had. Just I, I really thought he was gonna he was gonna try and prove himself to the Celtics to Boston, but nope. He heard Kyrie sucks like fifteen times and all the boos, and then I don't know. His hands turned into bricks. I, I mean, he's gonna he's not gonna play like that the rest of the series. No. Six for nineteen is not a normal Kyrie night. No, it doesn't matter. Like even even him like on a bad night. I think this is as bad as it's gonna get for the rest of the series. Yeah, um, he was missing a lot of shots though that I feel like he should have been making. Right, and Al Horford turning into all defensive team <laughs> for the for game one of the finals. Hey. Hey, well, how many blocks he have? He had three or four blocks, like something like that. So of course in the first quarter, and I don't know. They just couldn't get anything going offensively. I mean, they scored eighty seven points. So <laughs> I think Porzingis didn't Porzingis block like three dunks, like. Or some, something like that. Yeah. There was like three separate dunk attempts that were just packed right at the rim. I don't know like and that's a, what that's they're a, feeding them. Th those kind of plays are momentum crushing. It you're is. trying to make a comeback. Like you're in Boston and the crowd is already going nuts like from start to finish. But when, when you start to mount a comeback in that third quarter and, and stuff like that happens where it's very showy stops. Very showy stops. Because the Celtics can get stops all day. Their defense is freaking insane. 
Yeah. They've got everybody on the court can guard him. Everybody on the court. Yeah. Derek Jones Jr. thought there was a bird cage around the rim for like the entire well, game. Yeah. Yeah. He was feeling Porzingis Intimidator badge. He was feeling a lot of Porzingis, all of them. Okay. So what do you think? What do you think keys for game two are for the Celtics? Keep it going. Uh, I mean, keep the pressure on defense. Uh, probably <laughs> keep making the same jump shots they're making. They shot how many three? They shot like twenty threes in the first half. They had eight players shoot or make two plus threes. Yeah, like if they do that, they're gonna win. Right. There, I saw a stat. They said on the on the live stream they are forty and one. I think they've lost one game total if they shoot. Over forty percent from three. Every time they shoot over forty percent, they win. Yeah, that's all Which they I have mean, to do. That's a good stat to have for yeah. a team that has shooters. But I mean, they're they're not they're not going to come out and they're not going to shoot that many threes or hit that many threes every game. No, series. not every game. And the Mavericks are going to adjust. I would hope so. I mean, they have the top five head coach in the league. But I don't know. I, I'm I'm starting to to feel some doubt, but I'm. I'm refusing to believe it because this the best player is still on the other side of the floor. And we just we got to let him get through all the stages of grief. He's he's not there yet. I mean, Tatum had a terrible game. I mean, he was doing things other than scoring, but I I hate. I mean, the announcers were just all over him all game. Like, yeah. just, even though he was shooting terribly, all like, I saw him do was make threes. I didn't see him do anything. Else. I don't think he did much else. But and 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 he is he hasn't had a great playoffs either. I mean, just average and. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, if they win the championship with him as their best player, it'll be surprising to me. I think it'll be the first in the those four pistons like we talked about. But yeah, the, it'll be interesting. I think the Mavericks have to have to turn it up defensively, the aggression, and they have to figure out a lineup that works because they had no answer for for the Porzingis minutes like at all. If he played the whole game, it would have been way uglier. Yeah. Well, but, he, just, he just couldn't. He and, and his outer month, Gafford. Playing 14 minutes, I thought that was. I mean, he didn't do. He only he didn't played do 14. Anything. Yeah. Why? Start of the game, he only played 14. Did minutes. Did Kleber play more than him? I don't know. Uh, I know Lively did, but Kleber played of, a lot. Kind of normal, which they talked about that before before the series started. There was people talking about how Kleber may get a increased role just because, like, just to help spread the floor. Yeah. Because their defense just is. If you have a guy on the floor who can't shoot, but you got to have somebody who can who can. Go, Gar Porzingis and yeah, I don't know. I mean, After only playing 14 minutes, I feel like was was he just in foul trouble or what? No, no. Okay, that makes no sense then. Because I know Lively was in foul trouble. He had five fouls and like halfway through the yeah, third. Yeah, I, don't, I think he only played 18 minutes. So I mean, they call him, what? What are the was their nickname? Two headed monster or something? I don't, know, I don't even know. Right. I don't. Keep up been, I've, heard, so I've heard a lot of people talking about him and Gafford and like giving them the two headed monster. Two handed monster combined for like <laughs> two headed teddy bear and like six rebounds or something stupid. Two headed only played a garden snake 30 minutes. Yeah, so they got to do something different defensively. And the shot making is going to come. I mean, you're not going to have an off night from everybody again. I would hope not. I mean, as you're an no. NBA team, I mean, did Luca have an off night? I mean, he had a Luca efficient, night efficiently, or efficiency wise, I guess. After it, the uh, like wasn't great, middle but, of the third, yeah. But uh, I mean, thirty points is thirty points. Yeah, you can't but be mad. You're not gonna have another one assist, Luke and I. I think I don't remember the last time he had one assist in a game. He hasn't had that in the playoffs ever. Yeah, but I mean, it's just not gonna be the same. There, it's gonna be a different game moving forward. And so all this talk about, oh yeah, Celtics and five, Celtics and four, Mavericks on a shot. Come on, come on now. We know I, better I than want this. him to have a shot. We've 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 seen this story play out before. When. 2016. Come on. I don't, I don't know if you can compare those two. Well, okay, we're, we're going. Look, game six is going to be Kyrie and, and Luka both drop 41. Make, clip this. <laughs> yeah, clip it. Clip this clip right it. now. And we're going we're gonna to put it out after game six because when <laughs> the Mavericks still lose after Kyrie and Luka both drop 41. <laughs> they're not going to lose if, if they combine for 82 points. Because they will because Lively will be their third they're best at eight points. <laughs> Tim Hardaway, he's gonna have fourteen. Bro, Tim Hardaway, 14 shots. did you see Tim Hardaway? It, 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 he came out on the court, <laughs> Josh, forced the stupidest, most contested mid range, and airballed it. Josh Green had good minutes this game, though. 
I mean, I guess he got blocked. <laughs> All I remember is him getting blocked by Porzingis <laughs> and missing a floater that was wide open. But <laughs> he had good minutes. I mean, defensively. But okay, I didn't think that they were gonna <laughs> that Tatum was gonna be guarding their bigs. But I guess that's why they brought Cleaver in is because Tatum could just sit, sit yeah. down there and play help. Well, side, like when Gafford was in and Tatum was guarding him, it, like Gafford was doing whatever he wanted. Right. And and I thought from the start of the game, PJ Washington, I was like, oh shoot. Dude's about to drop 30. He turned into like Prime LeBron for a second like, yeah, on a fast break. All like these layups. You saw that that uh he, it was like two minutes into the game. He like goes coast to coast and just two hand just dunks on uh I don't even remember who it was, maybe was it was it White or somebody. Oh, yeah, I don't know. It was early in the game. Oh no, I didn't see that. But uh yeah. I thought I thought after that I was like, okay, this is what we need. This is what's <laughs> we getting us going. Okay. Are you I'm, a Mavericks fan now? For for seven games, I will be. Okay. The Dallas Laker Mavericks. <laughs> I think we should point out that Jason Qu- Jason Kidd uh, said the it's just basketball quote in his halftime speech. I think that's a big thing to point out that, you know, maybe Jason Kidd is a little nervous himself if he's making the same quote that LeBron made before he got booted out. Just something to think about there. That's just my information from the inside that I've seen from yeah, cause, ESPN. Cause you're, a, you're, yeah, you're an ESPN insider over here. I was in the We're locker so room. lucky to have him. I was in the locker room, guys. <laughs> He just made it back from his flight from Boston, so yep. we're glad to have him back. Yeah, I'm jet lagged, but it's a one hour difference. You want to do the draft? Yeah, let's do the draft. We're gonna, all right. We're gonna do a, a new segment here presented by Momitos. Se- segment by Momitos. Um, what else? Raising Canes, Cleveland Cavaliers basketball, Power Please. Rangers, everything. If, you're, if you want to sponsor us, just reach out. Uh, we'll have our agent contact you. Hanes underwear. You don't want a Hanes. <laughs> You're telling me you don't want to be in a Hanes commercial. The fact that it popped in your mind is concerning. That's concerning. Man, let's just get on to the draft. Okay, who's going first? Who's picking first? So this is we're doing the no, the no, all no all star team. Yeah, you. These these are the best players. We're trying to draft the best players list. that were not all stars. Never in their career. This is all time too. It doesn't have to be current. Right, right. All time. I've tried not to look at your list. He just pulled up the list right in front of my face, and I'm trying not to. Look yeah, at don't it. look at it. It's cheating. Okay, who's going first? We're doing two drafts, so which one are you more confident in? More confident? Yeah, you can get the first one on that one because we'll just mm, switch. Okay, I'll just I'll just start off with this one. Okay. Well, my first overall pick, I'm taking Jamal Crawford. That's first fine. overall pick. That's fine. I think that is you can have him. Six multiple times, six men of the year. Yeah. Well, per game score. Well, with with my first overall pick, I'm going with CJ McCollum. Mm, and solid let, pick. let me explain why. Solid pick. For eight years in a row, since 2016, he has averaged 20-plus points a game. It's a good pick. Jamal he's Crawford on only averaged 20 points per game one time. Is it twice? It's twice. Okay, twice. well, I looked over the stats, and it lied to me. So mm. Twice, actually. Editor, check it out. It's just me. <laughs> it's it's supposed to be like 19.8. <laughs> I think it is. But, but Jamal Crawford, he's cooler than CJ McCollum, so... <laughs> That's true. You do... The swagger is there, so... I'm never saying uh, swagger. My again. second pick, I'm going. I'm going to go big it was here, only and I'm going to go. Time. This is this might be. I, I probably could get him in the later round. Probably could, but I'm going to take him here just because I think he's on your list. <laughs> but he, I'm going to before I say, I'm going to say this man would have been an MVP if he had. I a know chance. what you're saying. And I'm taking Artavis Sabonis. All right, you don't deserve him because you said his name wrong. <laughs> Arvidas. There you go. Arvidas Sabonis. That, that was one of I'm my guys. It. He was my second pick. Yo, see, I. But you know what? Since I'm locked in, yeah. Well, well, let's see about that. You know, you know. What? I'm not even gonna say that one yet because I don't <laughs> think you're gonna pick him. Let's see, who's my replacement here? Um, I'm gonna go with for my second pick, Richard Jefferson. Mm, bald man. Bald man. Greatest ref of all time. Yeah. Uh, shiniest. One. RJ. Shout shiniest out. ref of all time. Yeah. No, that was a good pick. I, I I would have probably picked him. I, I, he probably would have fallen to fourth, but yeah, he was on my list. He was on my list. He should have been all star. Yeah, at least one year. With the Nets, yeah. If Kyle Korver could be one, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thirteen. What did he, he had like thirteen points a game that year. He just averaged fifty percent from three. Yeah. All right. Well, with my third overall pick, I'm taking maybe it may be recency bias, but I don't. I mean, I know who it is. Jamal Murray. We're going Jamal yeah. Murray. Everybody talks about it. Was, you're just taking my draft. That was my third pick on here. 
Womp womp. Okay, if we're gonna go down the recency bias, Wait, I'm not done with my analysis. Okay, sorry, okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. Jamal Murray, he averaged 26 points per game in the playoffs this year. Oh. Last year, you'll get an All Star playoff the, performance. Went to the finals, two game winners against the best player in NBA history this year. Um, and so I think he deserves his flowers because even though he is injury prone and uh, often doesn't play the same as he does playoffs, he's a good player. Well, you don't get all-star games from playoff performances, so maybe step it up in the regular season, Jamal. <laughs> and with my third overall pick, I'm going to go with, since we're going down the recency route, Mikael Bridges. <laughs> and that's a good pick. That's not a good pick. That is a good that pick. That is not a good pick. Bro, he's had like two seasons that he could have been an all-star. Exactly. Two. And he, he could have been. been. Yeah. We're, I'm looking at a list full of guys with like seven, eight seasons. Just wait. My are... last picks will save it. Don't worry. I'm going for the all-around team here. Okay. Wait, I want to look. I, I was trying to keep it in my, yeah, 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 positional, a little bit of positional. I didn't want to go all guards because there's a lot of guards. There is. But with my fourth round pick, I'm going to take, not, this may surprise you here. This may surprise you, but I think name recognition, I think big play capabilities, I think clutch, all is a factor here for this pick right here. And uh, maybe, Ability to to. Never mind. I'm not going to go there. <clears throat> Lamar Odom. That's my, that's my, <laughs> I knew where you were going. <laughs> that's my that's my fourth pick. This is Lamar Odom, six man of the year, great player, shiny head, one not of the best shots pick. of the early 2000s. Loves you know. snorting coke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, we weren't going to go there. We'll cut it out. We'll cut it out. I don't think you have my fifth pick, so I'm going to save it for last. I'm going to go with, I don't really have another center. I'll try and find a guy that can at least play small forward. Maybe we can get Richard Jefferson in the power forward area. You could do it. <laughs> it's easy L. I'm going to go with one of the, the most underrated shooters in NBA history, Drazen Petrovic. Mm, green 2K shot. Oh, he's so cash. Other than that, it's a bad pick. <laughs> bad pick. All right, Pete Drazen Petrovic. He's not even on my list. Oh, not well. even on my list. I thought about I got a few that. guys not on your list. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious to see who this fifth pick is, though. I want to steal it so bad, but I don't know who it is. You're not. Um, am I on my fifth pick? Yep. It's your last I'm pick. My fifth. Okay, last pick. This is easy for me. Um, had one of the best seasons in Cleveland Cavalier history. Um, and oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> recently coming off injury. Spit it out. Has 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 played with a very limited role and has been the best player on his bad team and uh, he needs to be shown some love. Colin Sexton, welcome to the squad. No, That's since, a guy that since, wasn't since, on my list. Since joining the starting lineup this year, that's 23 points per game, 6 assists on 50-40-90 on a bad team with bad shot chuckers. This dude does what he can with limited resources. He deserves to be on this list. And de deserves the respect. I'll leave a timestamp somewhere where you can skip him talking about this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, with my final pick, <laughs> this is going to save my entire draft. <laughs> it's, I'm going to win You're everything. Mikael Bridges with is my pick. last pick, the leader of the squad, Victor Wembanyama. With my last pick, put some like some some fart noises after that. No, that's a terrible pick. That's a the terrible pick. Do I need to name this back out? Yeah. Okay. Well, now we're gonna del delete this video when we in February because it's not gonna be true anymore. We can't be. Uh, I spreading this false is, information. This was filmed on June seventh, twenty twenty four. What if CJ McCollum gets? Or, uh, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's not. You picked Jamal Murray. He might get one. <laughs> That's such a cheese pick. It is a cheese pick. cheese pick. I literally wrote cheese right here. <laughs> Okay, well, that was our draft segment presented by Mamitos. Yeah. So, and uh, do you want to do you want to list out your team finally? Okay. So my team is point guard Jamal Murray, shooting guard Colin Sexton, small forward Jamal Crawford, mm, mini team, power forward Lamar Odom, and center Arvidas Sabonis. Team is. Poor Arvidas. Poor Arvidas. Team. Arvidas ain't getting the ball. It doesn't matter. He's, <laughs> he's not getting the ball. He's going to rebound, and that's it. Put in a clip of Arvidas swinging the rock, because that's all we need. 
Yeah, that was not found as stolen by Russians. So let me name out my team. <laughs> CJ McCollum, starting point guard. CJ McCollum. Starting shooting guard, <coughs> we got Drazen Petrovic. Starting small forward, Mikhail Bridges. Starting power forward, Richard Jefferson. And at starting center, the first option of the team, he's going to average a triple-double with blocks, Victor Wimbanyama. Comment who wins that draft. You know who it is. All right, let's if, move if on. If you're listening to Spotify, DM me on Instagram. Let's move on. Because that was an embarrassing blowout. So. I think it was great. Some people just don't have the vision. Since game one just ended, I figured it would be a fun idea to mm. get have a little guessing game for the top 10 most points scored in a game one of the finals. Okay. So who is your first guess for number one? Who do you think number one okay, is? Okay, so LeBron is on this list. He's, he's got to be like top three. He is. He, LeBron is number two. Number two. Yeah, he scored Ooh. 51. 51 in 2018. Okay. Um, is, is Jordan on the list? Jordan is sneaking on the list. Barely. Mm. Number 10. 10. In 1992, he had 39. Does that not tell y'all who the goat is? 39. Off one. That's all we need. Only 39, MJ? 39 points. Come on. 39 is, is that's the. That's, that's 10. Wow. Yeah. That's the baseline to get in. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go. Let's go back a little bit. Is, is Wilt on the list? Wilt is not on the list. Does it even go back that far? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, is, is Kevin Durant on the list? Nope. No Durant. No, no Durant. No this Durant. This is going to be a bad segment. Bad segment. Is Jokic. <laughs> this is going to show, no, this is gonna show is his ball knowledge. That's okay, the thing. let's <laughs> chill out. <laughs> let's chill out with that. Jokic is not here. <laughs> <laughs> Keep a tally right up there. <laughs> oh, wrong? You're yeah, wrong, wrong guesses. Wrong guesses. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, Let me know okay. when you need some hints. Oh, I'm sorry. LeBron's here twice. I forgot twice. to say that. So LeBron, LeBron is number two and number <laughs> two, four. Two greatest of all time. All right, Shaq, is he on the list? Shaq is on the list twice. twice. He's number five and so number five six. Down. Kobe, is Kobe up there? Kobe is on the list. He's number nine. He scored 40 in 2009. Okay. So that's, we're six down right now? Yeah, right now, all you have left is you have one, two, three, four missing. Four missing. Mm. You still don't have number one. Still don't have See, what am I missing? Because I thought Le- LeBron's 2018 game game one was the most all-time. Nope. So unless it was since then. Was it? Hmm. Is C- Curry's not up here, is it? No Curry. No Curry. Um. Nobody from the Spurs is scoring like that. We have to go back to... Is Dirk? Nope. No Dirk. Dirk no Dirk's Dirk. not on there. What about D-Wade? No D-Wade. D-Wade from, not from 06. Um, is that it for Lakers players? Uh no. Oh, is Jerry West up there? Sure is. Jerry West is number one. Wow, really? In 1969, he had 53. 53. And then he also wow. is number eight. He had 41 and wow. 66. So I just knocked out two right there. You got two left. Two They're two left. different players. Two different players. Different conferences. Two different eras. Uh, no, same conference. Same no, conference. different conferences. Sorry. Okay. Different eras. Different conferences. Is one of them from the 2000s? Is he a 2000s player? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um. Think of 2000s. Is it is it AI? Allen Iverson, number three. Allen Iverson. 48 in 2001. Wow. I think they still oh, lost. You know, they did. <laughs> they lost. They did. Um, All right. This is number seven. Number seven is the only one you don't have left. Number seven. And hmm. is that more current or is that no. oh, it's, it's old? It is old. Um, you should get it. though. Elgin Baylor. Uh, No, but you're on the right track. Bernard King. Further away. No, further away. <laughs> further away. That was just a random... I don't even know Imagine. if Bernard has been to it. <laughs> no, he's been there. <laughs> um, shoot. So further back than like... um, Is it Kareem? Kareem up there? Further. Further back. Further back than Kareem? Oscar Robertson? Nope. You're getting closer though. I'm getting closer. Any hint I give is just going to tell you who it is. Okay, okay, give me a conference. Give me the conference. What's Western? Western Conference. Shoot. Hmm. Am I just like overlooking this like all-time great? A little bit. I wouldn't say all-time great, but he is definitely known. He's a, he's a <laughs> known player. Um, Western Conference. See, I, all the players I was thinking of were in the Eastern, so. See, it's hard because... Technically, they 
were not very Western when he, uh, won, he was there. I'm drawing a blank. You want a hint? Yeah, give me a hint. Okay, I think this is a pretty good one. They were in Minnesota at the time. They played in Minnesota, but they now are a Western Conference the team. War, is it Rick Barry? Nope. No? Is that the team? <laughs> the Warriors? They didn't no, play in Minnesota. No. Uh, I don't even know. Is it, was Philadelphia in like the 76ers? Uh, nope. Not Philadelphia. It's still a Western Conference team now. I actually don't even know if they had conferences at the time. Yeah. This is, I'll give you a hint, it's pre-60s. Pre-60s, jeez. Yes. I don't even know. Is it a white player? Duh. <laughs> okay, well. Um, cut out the duh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cut out that. Is it a big man? Yep. It's a big man. Is it, is it uh, Bob Pettit? No, that's not a bad guess though. That is actually a good guess. Um, I gotta be just drawing a blank. A white big man from the fifties. There's not many of them. <laughs> There's like four. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Pettit's the one that came to my mind. You're um, thinking of like Pettit is the more rare choice there. Pettit's rival. All right, you want another hint? Yeah, give me another hint. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he wears glasses. That didn't give me anything. That didn't give you anything? I can't picture it. This is the most notable feature is his glasses. Kurt Rambis? <laughs> if Kurt Rambis played somehow in the 80s and the 40s. <laughs> somehow in the... I'll give you the year. 1949. 1940? That doesn't help me. I can't. I don't. Okay, I, I'll give you the amount. 42 points. <laughs> 42 points. In 1949 was scored by somebody with glasses. You're going to be really disappointed in Probably yourself. Probably will be. Um, Mr. Basketball. I don't know who Mr. You Basketball. You don't know who Mr. Basketball. No, I don't know who Mr. The Basketball. The league's first MVP. What the heck? I, I'm not just like I'm not blanking. <laughs> or the the lights are shining too bright. <laughs> I'm like Kyrie. The lights are too bright in here. Wow, it's embarrassing. I need to retire. Do you? Do I need to say it? I think you need to say it. I was... George Mikan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You should have just said he had a drill <laughs> named after him. A drill name? Oh. <laughs> I don't know and what's wrong with me. Number seven is George Mikan. Wow. In 1949, he had you know 42 what? points. R.I.P. George Mikan. Is he dead? I don't know. I would hope so. <laughs> Probably. Mr. Basketball, sorry for the disrespect. That's embarrassing. And let's that, move on. That was our, our segment. Uh, let's, let's move on. Sponsored by, who was it? Raising Canes. Dairy Queen? Oh, okay. Thank you, Raising Canes, for paying us millions and for DQ. that. Thank you. I love your little ice cream. <laughs> what? That's what they do at the... They're blizzards. Yeah, the blizzards. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How embarrassing do you think it would be as a DQ employee to be like, here's your ice cream, and then it just falls on the ground? <laughs> they have to give you another one. I'd be, I would be so embarrassed. <laughs> if they don't do it, they have to get it to you for free. That's true. So, I, I can't tell you the last time I've been a Dairy Queen, though, so. Hey, guys, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the podcast was unfortunately cut short right here. Uh, so, this is going to be the end of this episode. Sorry, guys. Hope you guys still had fun. See you in episode three.